guys, thank you for coming back to my channel. My name is Nicole Anastasia, and today I'm coming to you guys with a totally different video. Um, my makeup is already done, so it's not a makeup video. But today I'm coming to you guys with a little funnier type video. Um, earlier today I was talking to my sister in law about some stuff that um, was going on lately in my life, and I just thought to myself, like, yeah, this might be going on in your life, but it might be happening to a lot of different people. Um, so I wanted to do a quick, like, advice video, as much advice that I can give to y'all, and then hopefully I can give to me. Um, so right now I am in the dating scene. I was in a relationship for almost three years, and that ended, um... It ended off a little rocky, but now I can actually say, like, we are friends now. And I appreciate that friendship more than anything because I, we were friends before. And I don't think that I can imagine not being his friend, if that makes sense. So, now I'm in limbo, like, in this dating scene, trying to find, not trying to find, but... It's just hard. Like, anyone that dates know that it's hard. So, I'm just going to give some experiences. I don't want to say this is story time, but I just want to give some experiences that I have been through while dating. And, girl, boy, whoever you are, this has been one This has been one of the wildest experiences of my life. I'm going to give a background. I am a late bloomer. I wasn't one of those girls that was in high school having sex with everyone. And if you are, were, girl, you did you. But I wasn't. I lost my virginity to my ex. Like, that was with for three years. So it wasn't like, you know, like, it wasn't like, I, like, this was my first like he was my true love he was my first everything and i understand more of why i am stuck in the situation that i was in but going into the dating scene i i was just appalled i was shocked i cut you on purpose like that um i was a little taken back because getting with my ex it was just such an easy process it was so genuine, it was so natural, that when I started, you know, now dating, it's just so forceful. The guys are so much more, like, harsh. Not harsh, like, oh, they're saying bad stuff, but they're, like, it's about sex all the time. And it's just, like, not as genuine as it was with him. So I'm just learning, like, okay, maybe these aren't working out, but... There's different guys out there in the world. And honestly, I know that because I was in a relationship. Even though it didn't work out, I was in a relationship. And I know, I know that that is possible. So, that explains a little bit um, of the background tip. So, I'm going to give you guys just some things that I've experienced that I'm just... <sighs> that was shocking. So, number one. I to say, the first guy that I... I talked to and had got with since my breakup he was a friend of a friend he was a friend of my cousins actually and um I thought that it was gonna be like just this like cool thing like we just gonna hang out maybe you know because at that time I wasn't ready to like get back into a relationship and that whole thing blew up in my face like we talked for a while we hung out for a while. We got to know each other. And then come to find out, he was in a whole relationship with a girl that him and my cousin actually worked with. And it was, like, super awkward because he would, like, ask me to come up to his job. And this was, like, before I knew he asked me to come up to his job. And I would go up to his job. And she would be there. But he never made it seem like he was with her. So he would always be with me. He would be, like, hugging me. He would be, like, t talking to me. And then, um... 
it was one day my cousin had got a phone call from the girl and she was just like um are you talking to like the guy that i talked to like i date talk to my cousin my cousin's like who do you date and she said his name and i'm like i like i'm not having like i date him like what you mean you date him and it was just completely awkward and i had to let that go because he was just a liar like it was so much stuff like he was he had three different baby moms and he was messing with two of them like it was just a hot ass mess and i cannot believe that i was in that hot ass mess so that's one that just was like you got to go so then number two would have to be um when i moved to where i live now um i had i was on this dating app called pos i'm not on it no more so don't even try to look me up um, and I started talking to this guy and Lord behold this guy was my neighbor and um, we figured it out choked him a couple of times I got him a couple of times and this guy like I was hanging out with him since October and it's March now and I mean in between this me hanging out with him I was talking to other guys I'm not gonna lie but we were never serious. He doesn't want a relationship. He's too busy chasing millions. That's what he told me. Yeah. So this guy, uh, I was one of my sister-in-law sisters is over here with one of her friends, and she was talking about a situation that she was in, a situation that she dealt with, not like relationship-wise or anything like that, but just someone she she was cool with. So and um, she had pointed to his house. And she had said a different name than what I knew him by. So let's say I knew him as Tyler. She had called him James. And I was sick at this time with the throat infection. And um, so I wasn't talking or nothing. I was just downstairs getting soup and tea and stuff like that. And um, I had overheard her say that. So when I went upstairs, I texted him and I said, so your name's um, James, not Tyler. And he texted me like a couple hours later like, who told you that and all this stuff? He was like, there's people that I can't trust because I got a lot going on. And he was just basically talking about, like, his situations that he got going on. And basically, this guy was just, like, all over the fucking place and stupid as fuck. So, um, it was so crazy to figure out that this guy that I was, like, friends with for five months just lied about his name. And then, um, I wasn't talking to him and he was like, can you just please come over so we can talk? And I went over there and he said nothing about the situation. He was just acting like everything was normal, showing me his new dog and stuff. And I'm just like, bitch, bye. Like, the fuck? So, yeah, that was over with. So then, I'll have to say the third situation was, it wasn't a bad situation that I was in. It was more so, like... I'm mad that it didn't work out the way it was, that it should have worked out. So basically, it was this guy that I was talking to. I was talking to him too for quite a while, like the same time I was talking to the other guy. But again, like, it wasn't a relationship, so I'm not doing nothing bad. I don't want you to think that I'm just over here, like, being nasty. Like, it was nothing, like, happening or nothing. We were just talking. But this guy, I felt more connected to him because both of our birthdays are May 25th, and he was really cool, and he got me, and I would say weird shit, and he would understand what I was talking about. And I was just like, people never understand me. Like, never. So, um, I think I wanted more from him than he wanted to give me. And then at a point, he wanted more from me than I wanted to give him. And we were never, like, on the same page. And I think that that's our downfall when you're on the same page because we are the same person. And the type of person I am, I have two different, like, like, he was me. And I was him. It was just weird. It was just weird, you know, like, the whole situation. But I do still care for him. I still, like, want to like to be his friend. But it's just weird. Like, we can't be friends. It's like, it always has to be more. But we don't want more. It's just so weird. Like, I don't want to deal with that. You ever just feel like you just don't want to deal with something? I don't want to, I don't want to deal with that. So... The fourth situation was, there was this guy that I was talking to, and he was from Philadelphia. So, yeah, he was from Philly. He's from North Philly. <laughs> but, um, he was really cool. He was super, he was younger than me. He was only two years younger than me, but he was so fucking immature. Like, he got me, because at first he seemed real mature, and then he was so mature. So, when he came by my house, and we were all chilling and stuff, and this is
gonna bleep that all out. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna bleep, I'm gonna bleep that all out. But this dumb motherfucker decides to come high off the fucking perks. Who comes to somebody's house for the first time high off the of perks? Bitch, who? Like, bitch, where? Like, where the fuck you do that at? Like, so, I have friends that are, like, they don't play. Like, so, when that happened, they was just like, you know, we don't like him. He makes us uncomfortable, all this stuff, da-da-da. Which was true. I understood what they was coming for. From, I did cut him off at the end. He was young. He was immature. Like, he told me he loved me, and we didn't even know each other like that. And I was just like... That's how you get your way. Like, I, I see that in you, bruh. I see it in you, bruh, bruh. But, um, yeah, that d Me the fuck out. But, um, <laughs> so, yeah, that would have to be number four. And then the number five, the fifth guy. Alright, so this guy, he he's like my future husband, future baby daddy. It's like, nah. Um, it's this guy that I actually met a while back, like two years back. Like, <sighs> now, so this was the first time that me and my boyfriend actually, like my ex-boyfriend, had broke up. And, um, you know, I was just like, okay, I'm gonna go date. Like, this guy from Philly and he was the sweetest he was the sweetest guy I've ever met so nice he wanted a relationship and everything and I decided to get back with my ex so now he be playing that game with me like he be acting like he don't want to talk to me he be like he, he, like, he be spitting on me like he don't want to talk to me do it look like I'm gonna chase you cause I am try me um so <laughs> Him, it feels different with him. Like, I, I text him every day, even if he don't text me back, because, like, I'm gonna find you. One way or another, I'm gonna love you. Sliding undercover, undercover. They don't wanna see it happen, but we say, fuck it. They don't wanna see it happen, but we say, fuck it. stories of dating recently that has those are just some things that has happened to me while trying to date um i'm just trying to step open my open heart with everything i really don't think that i'm physically ready for a relationship but i do feel like if someone come along and show me that then maybe i would be i'm just really trying to figure out what makes me happy as a person i don't want somebody to define my happiness my happiness i don't want someone to have my happiness in them and then i'm happy i don't want to do that because i don't want I want to be able to take away my happiness, if that makes sense. But I am in limbo right now with myself. I'm only 23. I'm still trying to figure out what I want to do as a person, as a human being, to help the world, to help myself, to make myself happy. And with that being said, you have to love yourself. And that's one thing, that's one place that you have to start, is just to love yourself unconditionally before you can love anybody else, before you can make anybody else happy. So, with that being said, I hope that you enjoyed this video. I know it might sound a little muffly because um, my camera's messed up. But I really wanted to record this so bad, besides all that, I just wanted to record this so bad. And hopefully that y'all enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, like, subscribe, comment down below, follow me on all my social media. Yep, so I will see y'all in my next video. Bye! And love yourself.